Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. So from time to time, we visit places around Nigeria and think, why don't we share this with our viewers? Yes, and there are so many stunning locations around the city, from restaurants to beaches to parks, and we'll be sharing these with you in what we're calling Arise Hotshots. Yes, and we'll be kicking off today with Zoline restaurant nestled in a serene environment in Ikoyi, Lagos. Zoline has a menu that would appeal to any palate. Let's take a look. Toyasi here for Arise Hotspots, and you know we're always looking for the best places in town. I'm at Zolin in Ikoyi, Lagos. Let's see what they have to offer. Daniel, the bartender, has made me their signature cocktail and it's called Zobotini. Okay, so you know I didn't just come here for the drinks, right? I will be having lunch soon. Come with me. I must say the decor here is super stunning. This is like one of those places where you just go relax. Nobody knows you're here. Nobody cares that you're here. Now I'm just hoping the food is as good as it looks on the menu. So my starter is here and it's the plantain croquette and it looks good. So again, it's all about look and taste for me. And it comes with this sauce. Not quite sure, I see tomatoes, I see onions. Hmm. It's interesting. good. So I just had my starters and they just cleared the plates. Now it was planting croquettes with a special sauce and it was really good. I wasn't thinking about my summer body when I was having that and I'm actually looking forward to the main meal. Lunch is served and I'm having the coconut jollof rice. Never heard of it before, but I'm trusting that it will be nice. Of course, it comes with plantain. Nothing in Nigeria is complete without plantain, to be honest. And I've got peppered snails, vegetable peppered snails, and the Zolin special sauce. <sighs> Let you know how it tastes. This is so good. Oh my God, guys, I am stuffed. Like, yeah, those meals were amazing, but I'm not too stuffed to have my dessert. And I asked for banana cake, and it comes with vanilla ice cream and Zobo syrup. These guys have something going on, okay? Like, everything they're doing with Zobo, I love, amazing, but well, let's see how it tastes. Mmm, sweet, mm. has some tart to it. Oh my goodness, talk about 
filling and delicious meals. It's been amazing here at Zolin Ikoi. There's one more spot I'd like to show you. Come with me. is the garden at Zolene. Honestly, this place is going to become one of my favorite spots in Lagos. Talk about nature. It's so green. It's so lush. So you have a good meal inside and then you come out for the sun or in the evenings when they actually have like proper setups for dinner. So if you want to come in the evening with your loved one, with your friends, this will be the perfect place to come to. This has been Arise Hotspots with Toya C. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Wow, amazing. I'm getting really jealous <laughs> there. Up next, restaurateur and head chef of Zolin Restaurant, Tina Sher, will be here with us. Don't go away. Welcome back to The Morning Show. So we have the owner and the head chef of Zolene Restaurant here with us. Tina Sher will be telling us all about the process of setting up a restaurant here in Lagos. And we'll also be discussing the nuances of being in the food industry. Welcome to The Welcome. Morning Show. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm still happy to be here. I'm still dreaming, dreaming of what I had at your restaurant. I should visit soon, pretty soon. Please do, please do, absolutely. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so let's talk about you being a lawyer mm -hmm. and then setting up a mm -hmm. restaurant. Yeah. I mean. How did that happen? First of all, I think that um, I had practiced law for 10 years now, so I just thought I had more to offer. And so for me, that was Zolin right. in the making, right? So I started, it started from a passion down to cooking for family and friends and then private events, yeah. then we got to the restaurant level. It always starts like that, you know, yeah. like you make something for your friends yeah. and then yeah. they say you should sell this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did you come up with the name? Because Zolene is quite interesting. It sounds very yeah. exotic. Zolene. Yeah. It reminds me of the song. The Jolene. Yeah. Jolene, yeah. <laughs> it's actually a combination of both my daughter's names, Zohara Aww. and Aline. Aww. So they were my inspiration for starting the business, actually. So. Aww. I wanted to be a good role model for them. What better yeah. way to do that than to pursue my dreams? Yeah. Yes. Now, yes. Do you think the um, restaurant business is uh, becoming a bit oversaturated on the island in Lagos? Well, for certain areas, yes. But for where I am, for instance, there are hardly restaurants around there. And then what we provide and what we offer is quite different. We're contemporary African, where we use our herbs and spices to create a wonderful dining experience. So we're really different. So it's not only about the food, the ambiance, you could see the garden and everything yes, put together. Beautiful. So yes, it's a whole package really. Yeah. And I think it's a good experience for people who come to visit Nigeria for the first time. It gives our African cuisine a very good look. Yes, it yes. does. But isn't there a danger? Because you just said now you're in a separate part and it's so true because you're in such a quiet, yeah. remote part of Ikoi. Yeah. Isn't there a danger of not having enough foot traffic that way? You know, people tend to see a store when they're walking past somewhere or driving by somewhere and decide, oh, let me go in here. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, but I think people that come around have done their work, like they've gone on the food blogging sites and all of that. And so that's how we get our visibility and we're good with yeah. that, really. Yeah, speaking yeah. about those type of platforms, yeah. GTV Food and Drink as well, yeah. that's another avenue. How have these type of platforms like Eat, Drink, Lagos yeah. Food, um, GTV's Food and Drink impacted your business? Oh, well, very well. They've helped small businesses a lot, honestly. And then they've given visibility to the African cuisine. So it's right, like, from street food to like the main cuisines, everything, yeah, they're doing good. And they've promoted um, enterprise in Nigeria for small business owners as well. Yeah. Right, so yeah. has, has anybody walked in and said, oh, I saw your review on <laughs> this website <laughs> and I saw I your like, review. I mean, kudos to like the food bloggers. Everybody says, ah, I got to hear about you from one food blog to the oh, other. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, no, there are some amazing. foodies like myself, dare yeah. I say it, that actually sit on social media like Instagram <laughs> <laughs> and then sit on those, those pages and looking actually for read, the best yeah, food. looking for the best um, reviews of yeah. food. Yeah. So what do you do to be able to keep up with that? Because, you know, one day, either, one of the issues with restaurants in Nigeria sometimes is the consistency. Yeah. So how are you able to not drop below standard? So, like, for us, we know that training is not a one-off thing. You have to continue training your staff keep them abreast with stuff and all of that. And then I think the global scene is really our markup point, right? It's not just the Nigerian. You know how people think that Nigerian food can be attributed to a woman sweating in the kitchen or something? Yeah. Yeah. So we are different, right? We try to create the hygiene. And I think hygiene also is another thing that we look into very sternly. Right. right? Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, so what are some challenges you'd say you, you faced while setting this up and even challenges you're facing now to stay in business? Yeah, so for um, a new business in Nigeria, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so everybody knows that it's not just um, your passion that will take you through business. So you, you have to be on top of your accounting, your marketing, mm. your staff. I think the turno turnover in the hospitality industry is a lot sometimes. Mm. So yeah, you have to be on there, be at par in terms of pay and all of that. Yeah. And inspiration, just leadership. So for me, I'm um, the restaurateur at Zolin, yeah, but I don't really stay all in the kitchen. I go out to make sure I see that I meet customers and come for shows like this, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just try to get more business for us because we're only around because of our customers, really. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that menu, I mean, you had some things that were that were quite interesting. You had a zobotini, yeah. you had all well, the plantain croquettes, which was really nice. So how do you come up with the dishes on the menu? So for us, we take our basic recipes and put our signature on it what we do at Zolin, right? For our African food, we say, okay, how can we make it more interesting, more visibly attractive? And so that's how we go with it. Mm. And so do you do any private events? But do you go out? Because there's this thing now with chefs in Nigeria where they're actually going out to do private events. They're cooking for people's small parties, yes, dinner parties. Yes, we do a whole lot of that. Yes, we're doing that. And more in, to come in the future as well. How different is that from... I mean, like, do you create a separate menu for that? Yes, or how different is that from actually doing your restaurant job? So we tailor make your recipe for you, your menu, sorry, for you. So whatever you want, the bespoke menu is what we do for outdoor events and catering. Really. Mm. OK. Yeah. So you're, in, you're, you're situated in Ikui? Yes, Ikui. Ah, so that, well, uh, that, that is a good <laughs> place to be for what you're, what is, you're, you're yeah. selling and your, your target market as yes. well. Yeah. So what type of people do you get that come in? Is it, are they? upwardly mobile or are they a bit older so we get all sorts of people across the <laughs> age range and all of that but i think we have more expatriates come in That's yes interesting. they want to try in african food and all of that so yeah i think they get very impressed most times so mm. good Looks good on us. <laughs> yeah. so tell me, I mean, I saw the garden and I was just like, wow. <laughs> you know, first of all, I'd say good use of space, yeah, you know, because it's such a it's, it's such a large yes. compound. And then you decided to set that part up. So yeah. what went into that? Yeah, a whole lot went into that from financing to trying to get the work, the space to suit the diners and all of that. So yeah, a whole lot went into trying to prep it. Mm. And do you, is, it, is it getting people to sit outside? Do you find that Nigerians, well, you have a lot of expats, so yes. they, they, they will probably the enjoy. They love the garden, actually. Yeah. They do, <laughs> they do. So we're going to get like proper sitting area for outside as well. But for now, we'll just get stuff in from right. the inside. And, and looking at that garden actually, actually reminded me of um, weddings. Yes. Because a lot of people, mm. the reasons why they tend to even do destination weddings is because there's not, a, they don't see the nice, nice location. the locations exactly. where they can actually, you know, decorate and just make it look nice. Because sometimes you do find people just actually do travel abroad yeah. to have a wedding in a garden. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> it's just like you could have actually done that in, in Nigeria. Yeah. So how are you, how do you think, do you, do you have any plans of expanding to do oh, that? Yes. Or do you do sure. that? We even had the wedding on Monday. Oh. Wow. Yes. So they went to just the registry at Ikoyi. Mm -hmm. And then they came up for Zoli and they were full of tanks. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the space, the garden and everything. So yes. Oh, wow. So it's something we're doing. We're going to go through the, the registry and just have more people come in for weddings yeah. and use the garden. That's a great idea. And that, yeah. would Niger, that would help in Nigeria. I bet that would help us keep the money in Nigeria. I know, yeah. I know. Because <laughs> it's so true. Like she said, like you see pictures of destination weddings mm. and they're in a garden. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you have a garden just like that. Exactly. So maybe you should, you should push that more. But what's, yeah. the, what's the big dream for Zolene? So yes, Zolene, we want to be internationally recognized. So we're starting from here. We want our African cuisine to really move up a notch. Yeah, that's what we want. No, to that's do. not big enough. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's, that's not big enough. So are you going to open other branches? Definitely. Are you going outside yeah, Lagos? Have, Tell us. Yes, yes, you don't know who's watching. Yes, <laughs> somebody might want to invest. Exactly. Yes, please. <laughs> we have plans to, of course, open other branches within Lagos, out of Lagos, and of course, in other West African and African countries. Then we move up to... United States, United, nice. I mean, global. Now yeah. that's a dream, that's yeah. a dream. Exactly. global. <laughs> well, tell us, how can people keep in touch with Zolene Restaurant? And if they want to make reservations, is there a website, Instagram? Yes, www.zolene.dining.com. Okay. And then we are on Instagram at Zolene Dining. Yes. 
Okay. All right. Okay. And then on our website, we have our number for reservations and every other thing. Okay. All All right. Right. Thank you so much tonight. Thank you, Thank you. Thank Thank you for, for talking to me. Thanks for feeding to us here. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Thanks for feeding. <laughs> I will be coming for my fair share. Please come true. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching from the entire morning show team here in Lagos. All that's left to say is enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye. Thank you.